All right, so it's been a very long day. I am going to unwind with a little bit of moto. I haven't done moto in a long time, so hopefully I don't have too many hangups. Um, I'm going to play Josiah Valley's deck, uh, his winning deck from our, the Pandemonium PBTQ this past Saturday, uh, June 2nd. Uh, the only thing I've changed about the list is I talked to Josiah earlier and he said he wasn't so hot on the the, the boat, the Skystrip Sovereign, Sovereign that he had in the sideboard. So uh, he said he was thinking maybe another Fumigate or an Angel of Sanctions. He said Angel of Sanctions was just uh, a house for him all weekend. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I threw in the third Fumigate. I feel like red's going to be all over the place. I was also thinking about maybe a second Lyra. But other than that, he has 24 lands, uh, nothing too crazy or special. We have one Scavenger Grounds, one Chef of Dunes, a few Dead Lands, um, four Toolcraft, three Push, three Knight of Malice. First Strike is very useful. Heart of Kirin, great with Karn. Scrap Heap Scrounger, this card is... Just nuts. So hard to deal with. So hard to just make it go away for good. Ballista, awesome card. And Gideon. Gideon's Gideon's pretty decent against um, like mid-game Chain Whirlers or Hazarats. History of Vanilla. Just really cool new card. Give you some power out of nowhere. Fog's one of their attacks in a way. A couple cast out. Ixalan's Binding. Uh, really good right now. There's a lot of things you can hit that just screw up an opponent for a very long time. Um, and Elyra. Sideboard's got some neat stuff. A uh, few duress. Fragmentize. There's been a lot of things like... Um, uh, what is it? It's the, the new Flash one. Oh, I can't think of it. It's a white uh, tapped creature. Um, well, it's a white enchantment that... Um, Exiles a tap creature until it leaves the battlefield. Gideon's in the corner. Love it in this deck. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. Um, four Duress. Two Spyglass for the Teferi deck, I guess. Um, I mean, it can be used in other things too, but I think that's the main reason that we're all doing this. A uh, couple Doomfall. The Fumigates that we talked about. And the Angel of Sanctions. So, there's that. Let's just... Uh, it's kind of late. I'm not going to do like a league, so I would like to just find the uh, import deck list. No, I don't want to do that. I'm doing it wrong. I would like to just find like the casual playroom, but I'm not exactly sure where I go about it. Seal away. Yeah, that's the name of the card. Thank you, fools. Appreciate that. Um, How do I get to just like the no, standard just for fun? There we go. Size deck just for fun. Constructed. Yes, yes, yes. Standard. Okay. And there we go. Let's play. That was super fast. All right. Let's move this down now. Except I locked it. Where's my mouse? Sorry. Go about there. Alright. Let's look at this hand. Um, It's okay. Another, another land really makes it good. Let's keep it. I have no idea what I'm doing this, with this deck for the most part. And I haven't done Moto in a long time, so i got to remember all the different priority passes. So we'll play play the core, Courtyard and F6. Now they're just 6. That's right, they changed it. Good thing I'm doing this tonight and not on Wednesday when we're going to stream at about noon, 1 o'clock. I'll have Josh Warren with me then. Drew to the Cowl. Just a mana dork. We got our second or our third land, so that's great. Um, can't ballista this, so let's just scrounger and pasture. 
We want to do it for play points. Um, no, it doesn't matter to me. I just need to... It's been a really long day. I just need to chill out and play some Magic. Watching Magic is great. I did a lot of watching Magic as a judge this weekend. I uh, had the, the, the standard PPQ, which you can go back and watch. I have it on Pando Streams. I have it on our YouTube page as well. It's... Um, I think it's just Pandemonium Games on YouTube. Uh, we just continue to ramp. Ramp it up, man. You want to hit me for one? No. Wants to not blow it up either. So let's see. Our third, third Karn. Maybe that'll be good. Um, Could swing. Take one of these guys. Kills the Scrounger. Slows him down. He's not going to block. He's just going to cast something huge next turn. Can't block with this anyways. Let's go to combat. <laughs> Let's screw up the turn. There we go. There's our first punt. I was looking down at the all the different options. I was like, wow, they changed that to that button and that to that button. And then I just went right on by it so now we're gonna lose this and we don't have a history triggering for the second time so that's great uh the reminder is annoying click x love you babe thank you fools oh there we go drop it uh well what's what's just okay it's just one yeah it's just one all right where i'm at um keep going what oh i thought this one fought it's not the fighter the fighter's um Green, green, two. Didn't get a land there. That would have been okay. Uh, let's just let's just do this like we should have. And definitely not attacking. We could take five next turn. Okay. But yeah, watched a lot of Standard this weekend. I actually watched Josiah play this all through the top eight. And uh, it was super impressive, man. He was so laid back. He was so chilled. I watched his match with uh, Richie Thompson. And they were just memeing me the entire time. Dear Lord, that's a big dinosaur. Um, Gideon next turn? Yeah. Okay. Rapid bite. That's somebody was talking about they should have been playing that. Um, during the PPTQ, um, I think it was Brandon Stuck. Brandon Stuck had like the three mana fight. Yeah, give me my knight. Really want another land. Play this, don't do anything, do this. Uh, just gotta play the Gideon. Yeah, Gideon. Let's not skip past using this. Okay, prevent damage. This one doesn't have trample, right? This one does have trample. Beautiful. They both have trample. Okay. Um, not a good position. Anyways, Josiah was playing this. He played against Richie, and I was watching. It was table judging for him, and the entire time, they were just, they were just memeing me. They, they were just being silly. Um, I watched a match with Josiah... Oh no, it was it was still in there. He had uh his opponent had the Soul Scarred Mage and kept dealing damage, non combat damage to his creatures. So Josiah would be a smart butt and instead of just having the creature die, he would take a, a counter, he'd put it on the creature, and then it would die to state based actions after the fact. And I'm just like, Josiah, you know you don't have to do that. And he's just like, But it's technically right, Chris. That's how magic works. We got we got to we got to do it right for the stream. Funny kid. <laughs> then we had Battle Bond today. Battle Bond was a trip. It was a lot of fun, but we had so many more people than I anticipated. Okay. So Gideon goes to 3. He's going to get three through. Goes to one. Okay. That's fine. I got to stay alive. That is a good land to have drawn. This this goes off. Does nothing. Play the isolated chapel. 
Hmm. Karn, look at some cards. Gideon on the Galta. He's going to Kavu, go after the Gideon. Um, the He can also hit the Karn. He's got this Grasping Dunes. Hmm. Alternatively, I just make a bunch of little guys. This is kind of a rough spot. Okay. Do this. Probably should have done it after the Karn, but it's okay. Let's look at some cards. Could make a 2 2 construct. What did we reveal? There we go. It's like, why didn't the little window show up? So a toolcraft and a cast out gives us the toolcraft. It's fine. It's not great. So there is a cast out. Um, yeah, it's the turn. Vigilance trample, man. That punt on my turn three. Not so good. One turn behind the whole time. So what I want to do is start to get to parity so that I can push the Kavu and then maybe draw another Gideon or get the cast out, take the Galta. Oh, and now there's two Kavus. That's not good. It's not good. Kavu, where's it going? Darn. So we need to go after the Karn. Okay. So I haven't done Moto in a long time. What else can I? What is else can I do here? Do do do. Yes. Okay. No. Pass until response. Okay. Ixalan's binding. Little late. It's got one in hands. Probably not another Galta. Could be. Um, Blossom defense. But he wanted to tap out, but no, he's not tapped out. That's going to be rough. Okay. So let's think about this. We don't need this card to survive, and I don't think we necessarily need this cast out because we have an Ixalan's Binding. So I could make a Construct, which would be a 2 2, play the Toolcraft, hold the push. I can't play the Ixalan's Binding. So I could plus the card and get a land. Okay, plus the card and get a land. Come on, land. So there's a land and a Scrap Heap Scrounger. If he's smart, he'll give me the Scrounger because I've missed so many land drops. Please don't be... Just be tired, dude. It's, it's almost midnight. You should be tired and making mistakes like I am. That's what quality magic is all about. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's revisit our options here. So now we can play the Ixalan's Binding, hold the push, or we can play the Toolcraft Exemplar. We definitely want the push because we want to get the Kavu, but we want to do the we want to push it now so that he doesn't get the uh, the plus two plus two in case he has a Blossom Defense. He'll get the he'll save the Kavu one way or another, but it won't be ginormous and swinging for like lethal so we're gonna binding first no we can't binding first if we binding first name the galta then he'll do that so we need to use oh he's only got one okay let's let's push uh cast only target creature with cmc two or less okay sure goodbye go away Go away now. Thank you. Uh, so it's probably not a Blossom Defense then. Dang it. I hate when these dual lands do that. I know there's a shortcut to make it so that it just like casts as long as you've paid the correct colored mana. Okay. So the Galta. Choose the target. Put it on the stack. It's good. It's good by me, dude. 
Um, not swinging into that still. So, pass turn. That was a cool turn. I'm so happy that we got the, the Deadlands. So, there is Scrap Heap still. And a cast out. We got two more cards. Okay, one more land. One more land. I think we can we can make a real game out of this. I'm already bad at managing my clock though. Josh Warren, if you are watching, sir, we are gonna we are gonna learn how to moto again together. Son of a okay. That's fine. So Karn takes Karn takes lethal, and that's fine, because we got these other two. And I reserve my life total. Bring it. Yes. And then these guys have done nothing all game. You should be attacking with them. There you go. There you go. Okay, we're doing all right. Uh, first strike, Hexproof from white. Gets plus one, plus oh, as long as the player controls a white permanent. Any player? There we go. That's pretty good. Let's see. Throw out the knight. Throw out the toolcraft, and then can I get back the scrounger? I cannot yet, but if you kill something, I can. So that's a that's a fine turn. So get this. I'm so used to like dragging with uh, arena now, so I keep trying to grab things and throw them onto the battlefield. I could also shrink the kavu later. Okay, this is a pretty decent looking turn. Um, pass. And I keep hitting F6 too. Mm. Pass turn is six. Why does is it not? Pa oh, because it's passing priority to him. He's doing it. Let's see if I still have this set up. Nope, I don't have a set up right. So I gotta get the link so that I can just send it to people. Send it to the chat here so you can review the deck list as I play. Um, and we can do that. I feel like I'm noticing how loud this mouse is for the first time. There we go. Um, attack with this. He killed that. I'm taking five. That's fine. Okay, I hit it. God dang it. Okay, double punt. Two punts. Um, kind of want to just play the Karn. Really want to be able to play this for three. If I could play the Karn, get another untapped land, and then for two mana... Play this scrounger. Seems fine because then he'll attack the Karn. Maybe I can stay stay alive a little bit longer. Alternatively, he just ends up killing me. I'm not gonna have blockers anyways. All right. Oh, I can make a construct. Let's make a construct. It's gonna be a one one. Chomp take four. No, I can't do it. Not this turn. I could have. It would have been a 2-2. Two -two. That would have almost been decent enough. Yeah, 2-2 two -two would have been good. Messed it up. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Come on, another untapped land. Planes, give me the planes. I will I will take that too, I guess. Okay. Play that. Pass turn. My music died. Maybe it'll start after this game. Alright. Draw nothing. Don't fight. What's the rabbit bite? No rabbit bite. Okay.
Just attack me. You just need to kill me. You need me to stop staying in this game. See less draws. Literally send everything. I block the uh, the Wayfinder. Uh, Toolcraft does nothing. I take five, six, seven, eight. Lethal, just swing. Send the team. Almost there. Ugh. Two punts, man. Feels great. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you're so close. Okay. So you have a pump? You're, whoa, whoa, wait a second. What? Attacking me, attacking me, attacking Karn. 5-6. He's got to have a pump. He's trying to get me to go here, but I'm going to block here and chump here. I don't care about this. The Karn can take 5. Sitting at 1 is better. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, okay. You want to waste your pump here? I think there's no way he has a pump. He would have. He would have attacked me. He would have just killed me. Getting distracted by the planeswalker, buddy. Oh, why? Why did he die? I thought the card was on six. Did I miss something? Was the car not on six? He just took five, right? One card in hand. Draw planes. We can make this a three three. It can't attack into us. We're starting to we're starting to come back. I need I need the other Gideon. So Karn. Walking Ballista, one, two, or one, two, three. Walking Ballista for three is okay. It's not great. Karn plus. Oh, man, this is getting rough. Get this cast out. What are we going to do? I think I'm just going to do this. Make this a 3-3. Three, three. Can't attack. Yeah, that's that's best. Oop. Undo. There we go. Thanks, Moto. Yes, sacrifice it. Let's go. Okay, and then just in case things get no. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, opponent. Kill us. You've had multiple chances. Karns have been wonderful draw card fog. Land War Elf. No reason to play that before going to combat. Make me think that you have cards, buddy. Some kind of like combat trick or something. Make me play around when I don't know. You know what? I think we can actually move this down here instead. There we go. Yep, you're in combat. I'm wasting my clock, my bad. He didn't attack at all? Beautiful. Beautiful. One, two, so one, two. We can cast this for three. We can kill off the Kavu. Then he goes to one, two, three, four, five, six power. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can cast Galta exactly. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of want to play the walking ballista. Just shoot this. 
and play a Karn. So let's let's Karn first. And let's plus. He's probably losing his mind. Is it his third Karn of the game? Are you serious? Can't cast Galt that you have binding. Yep, thank you. That's right. Josiah, I love you. I hope I'm playing your deck at least decently well, dude. Okay, so he gave us a creature again. Would have just taken that one this time. Um, yeah, nope, wrong, wrong one. There we go, boom. Okay, go for it. I gotta speed up. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose on the clock. Damn, he's so much faster than I am with this. I want to be able to tell stories about the PPTQ on Saturday and Battle Bond today. But like, I am just. I am not at this guy's speed right now. All right, Zed. What did what did he reveal? Crap. A song of Frailies? Oh, I can check the thing. I'm stupid. Uh, yeah, it's a song of Frailies. That's gonna be a nightmare. Hmm. Okay. We want to get the scrap heap scrounger back. We want to start making constructs so two mana play this as well can make a walking blister pretty decent here or I can get the scrap heap scrounger back yeah that seems better okay so let's create a dude let's play this and let's play a ballista for four uh for x equals two And then we'll get back to Scrap Heap Scrounger. Uh, can I attack here? Uh, one more turn. Let's wait one more turn. This knight's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Alright, dude, you have a ton of mana. <laughs> Fucking damn it. But I hit two. Really bad at moto. Okay, we're not going to miss it this time. We're just going to do it now. I don't think there's anything in green that I need to be scared of. Uh, I don't think it matters what creature I exile either. And let's attack with one construct. See if he wants to trade into it. Oh, uh, you know what? We're going to attack with the toolcraft too. Uh, this becomes a 3-3. Three, three. Attack with the ballista. What do you want me to cast? Cast that T-Bing out right now? I don't know what you mean, Josiah. After he blocks, you gotta pump the walking ballista. Cast that thing out now. <laughs> yeah, sorry, dude. I'm bad at this. Um. Okay, so. Okay. Okay. Um, and we're going to we'll play this land. Okay, go. We're coming back. We're, we're going to kill him. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. He was holding something for a long time. Um, 
So I could cast this out right now. Yeah, that does seem good. Okay. So card down, get cast out. Cast it. Target song. Play this, so I had the extra land already. Um, okay. Let me attack, let me attack. Yeah, sure. Maybe I should have just swung everything, force him to block a bunch of stuff, and then kill him with the ballista if anything gets through. Probably could use the cast out on something too. But I'm scared of screwing it up and giving him a turn. I guess I could have shot this as well. One less blocker, but then it's one less damage. No, this is, this is fine. Give me priority, dude. Come on. Um, yeah, I'm fine with all of this so far. This night has been insane. Oh, that was so, that was, that card's just been great. Excellence Binding plus Knight. Oh, shoot, I have priority. I'm tired. Oh, come on. Why is he letting this ballista through? Okay. Okay, here we go. Pulled that one out. Two, two misplays. Okay. All right, we don't care about that. Fragmentize, no, I don't think so. Doomfall, Doomfall's probably not good. They have too many creatures. Uh, fumigates. And Angel of Sanctions? I don't know if that's right or not. Um, let's see. Gideon's good. Karn is good. Scrap Heap's not as good on the draw. Watch me screw this up. Uh, Josiah, I'm going to side completely wrong. Toolcraft is not so great either. Maybe Scrap Heap's a little bit better. This takes out some of the Mana Dorks. Binding's fine. One less Karn? He was attacking it a lot. I think I have to leave it. Lara's probably fine. Uh, heart's going to be slightly harder to activate. We cut a heart. Okay. Alright, we got to play, play smart. Got to play fast. I've got like eight minutes on the clock left. Come on, decent hand. Oh... Yeah, okay. Keep it. Planes first. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. He's got a land war. That's fine. I'm not in the right window. And F6. So, hmm, walking ballista, next turn for two, attack with the tool craft, and then shoot the land war elf. What's he gonna reveal? A forest, puts forest into their hand, okay. So he's definitely got creatures, he just needs to ramp to them, so that's the play we're making next turn. Don't play another land war elf, play nothing. Okay, that's fine too. Take another land. Or take a creature you can't cast. Tashana Wayfinder, explore, right? Whatever. Oh, 
we get a push. So that's this is still the plan. Combat trigger. Attack and to guarantee we get in we're going to actually ping the one that can block and okay next turn he can play a land push hmm. maybe I can lead him into a Kavu Forest. Okay. Sealed courtyard's good. Could play. <sighs> Maybe just play Gideon. Tick up. Don't need an emblem right here. But will we get an opportunity to emblem? I don't know. We're just going to take up. I don't know that the emblem does all that much. Um, I feel like he's just been attacking my planeswalkers anyway, so I want to give them as much loyalty as possible. It just kind of like, it's like gaining life with against him. If I, if I emblem, um, I'm one turn shorter of that, and... Even if he was going to go for like a lethal swing or whatever. Um, I think I have a turn where I can still zero. This is going to be a pain in the butt. Let's just get land for land for land. I can't quite do this land yet, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to show it. Don't want to cast it out. We're getting close to fumigating. I could attack and push it. But he's just going to block it a land, right? Yeah, he's going to block it a land. Hmm. All right. Should have plussed on this. Okay. Let's just see what he does. Um, at some point, we might push something. Or if you play something big, we'll cast it out. I'm tempted to cycle it. He's got twice as much time on the clock right now. Ronus's Monument uh, gets plus two, plus two, and gains Trample until end of turn. Okay. So attack, attack Gideon. That's good. That's fine. I don't care. Oh, man. Um, we're going to save the cast out. But we're going to, we're just going to spend the push. Should probably do it now. Ugh, whatever. Yep, I did that backward. I should have plussed on this, blocked here, pushed that. Do you want to waste a boss in defense on this? Because I'm totally fine with that. Okay. Toolcraft. Kill this plus on this. We have the board locked down pretty decently. And we can swing. For one whole damage. And I'm an idiot. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Try not to like click too. Ah, oh, shit. Try not to click too fast. And I'm just jacking it up. Um, this is fine. I guess we spent a cast out on this. Keep him even further away from Galtang. 
He'll have some turn where he plays something big and we end up fumigating. And it'd be nice to be able to attack with this Gideon. Um, well, asking you shall rece receive, right? Okay. So, should be at 16. I'm running out of time. Blow this up. So that one point couldn't matter if I get to go. I'm, I'm not going to get to attack every turn with this with this Gideon, but like, it could actually matter. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What does he have? He's just got giant, he's just galt got galtas, can't do anything else. There's five. I think we got it. Wow, okay. That's pretty good. Kill that. Yeah, you're still dead. This is great. Okay, don't mess up this attack. Got it. Got it. Oh, he left. I was going to tell him. GG. Whew. Okay. Let's look at that again. So, once again, here is the deck we're playing. This is Josiah Valley's uh, PPTQ. Uh, winning deck from this past Saturday. Uh, the list is completely the same as what he played, except we have a third fumigate in the sideboard instead of a, a boat, a big old skyship sovereign. And so far, so good. Okay, play lobby. Um, getting serious, just starting out. Which which one's the tournament practice? All right. So, turn to practice, I can win, like, play points or something. I don't know. We'll find out. Or I will. You guys probably know. Mm, snap keep. This is great. Okay. Turn two, turn two heart, turn three history, turn four Karn. If we get a land in there to set the the Karn or the the heart up, that'd be great. That's fine. Pass turn. I guess I can slow down a little bit now. I'm so I was going so fast with the last one, uh, that last game. Uh, this could be wizards or standard Jessica. I think it's wizards, maybe. Savron and Olive. That deck. The Wizards deck can just kill you out of nowhere. It can do like 17 out of nowhere. Counter? You got it. It's fine. I want the history and I want the car and more than I want the heart. Play something. Oh, it's gone. Jeez. Okay. So this is going to be a dispo. Ooh, we're just going to play another heart. Um, Let's not show them the Deadlands yet. Keep this up, represent a push. Come on. I want I want the Karn more than I want this. Take the bait. Sweet. Still have no idea what this is. Main board and the gate. Just got colors. That's a lot of chat. Uh, 
guess we'll resize a little bit because we'll deal with uh, we'll deal with making this better on Wednesday when Josh and I stream. My bad, is my turn. Okay, we got a knight. Um, show him this. Hexproof and white. This is just so much more value. But I'm like screwing up my... I think I'm going to throw the Karn out here because he missed a land drop. Let him counter that. And I think... I don't think he's going to have Fumigates right here. Maybe. Okay. Would you like to counter the Scion of Urza, sir? You gotta be excited now. Ooh. Buddy. Uh, he's gonna give me the scrap heap. He gave me the knight. Guess what I'm doing next turn. It's just missing land drops. It's not fun magic. Sorry, buddy. Um, courtyard comes in tapped. I don't need to hit another land. I can play this at five. Um, let's look at what Karn's got. Draw two cards a turn. Oh, we gotta get rid of the knight. Give us the courtyard. So he knows about this courtyard. So we'll play that. We'll play our first knight, which he also knows about. And... Okay. Pay a life. Pass turn. Cycle something? Essence scatter? You... What? And uh, shock? Magma spray. Okay. That's fine. Either hub. I'm fine with everything about this. So I don't need other either of those right now. Scrap Heap's really good though. But he probably has the uh, seal away that Fools was telling me about in the chat earlier. I'll rehide that one for now. He gave me a history, but now he didn't want to give me the Lyra. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, play the courtyard. Play the history. Oh, that was wrong. I could have played this. He could have countered it, and then I could have played the second one. All in this turn. I don't have anything to do with this mana. Because I don't have Scrap Heap down here. Josiah, you're supposed to tell me these things. I don't like this. This is, this is too much chat area. This is getting out of here. Make that smaller. Um, what's going on? N apparently nothing. Guys just keeps missing land drops. Telegraph Seal Away. Yeah. I'm fine with him using Seal Away on some knights here. And he has to use his energy, his one energy from Ether Hub to get the other one. And then this other history is just going to destroy him. So we're not going to do anything. We're not going to plus Karn. We're just going to go to combat. Let him take this. Oh, because it has Vigilance. Tish, you are correct. He cannot get that with Seal Away. We are learning. The Lyra is really good. She eats the Seal Away. I can Exalon's Binding the Seal Away. Get the Lyra back. He almost... This deck almost has to have Fumigate in the main board so far. So, give us the land. He gave us a creature. So yes, he has a Fumigate. He's trying to gain life back. We're not going to play this. But we are going to play a History, I think. 
We'll play this, play the history. Okay. We're gonna do nothing with this land. That's fine. Because he, he has to fumigate. Ooh. I was going to say he has to fumigate. Now he can't, so he has to wait. Uh, waste spot removal. Or sweltering suns. Yep, sweltering suns. That's fine. Um, what did he give us? He gave us that. We have these four out there. Okay, he's got one up. Yeah, that's fine. Jeez, hmm. We definitely want to get these in play now, but now we could have the fumigate. He's not going to use it yet. Um, let's get the scrap heap back. We're gonna hold the ballista. No, we're gonna play the ballista because even if he fumigates, I can throw two counters at it. That's fine. Still represent a push, not that it's gonna matter. Just need to not click through it. I don't think he's gonna do anything, but I don't wanna just pass priority. I'm gonna mess up the key binding stuff. Okay, so where do I need stops? I don't need to stop. How do I turn this off? Turn that off. There's a magma spray on the scrap heap scrounger. I could shoot my own scrounger because this is a really hard card for them to deal with. Oh, that's not good but i'm actually okay watch this awful play come on i baffled him he's like what why would he do that can't get it back this turn but i can get it back next turn Just need to not pass priority through it. Uh, harness lightning, sure. You got it, dude. Now you got some energy, too. Interesting that he didn't go for the knight there. Okay. Uh, so he's got one left in hand. We're going to have a Karn and a Scrap Heap Scounder that he just is going to... Ooh, two Scrap Heap Scounders? Yeah. Okay, so let's... Do we want anything? We can get the Lyra. Let's just keep digging. Give us a land. Which one? Good call. Play that. Okay, we want to wait on the other one, and we don't want to mess it up. We want to do it in the end step. Pass turn here. I don't need that. Teferi? Okay. So it's just got Teferi and Standard. We have an Ixalan's Binding. They're only going to have a red up. So I think we're going to win this game. Um, that is fine. Don't click through to the end step. Draw a card, untap two. Oh, that's right. So he's going to have three. That's fine. Let's, let's do it here. It's not going to matter. It's the same operation. I'll get rid of the toolcraft. 
And now we can have six. What would you like to untap? That's interesting. Thought you would have gone for another blue. Um, so we want to make him use his mana. This is lethal for Teferi. I don't actually want to kill the Teferi. But I want him to use his mana. Hmm. Let's go to combat first. Oh, now you're back and ready to party. You didn't you didn't uh you weren't here for all my punts, Josiah. Um Okay, so this one's gonna attack him, this one's gonna attack you the fairy. See if I can get him to react. Spend your mana, dude. Okay. Um One, two, this five. I can play the Lyruk. He counters it, and then I Ixalan's Binding get that. That's way better. Okay. So I would like. I could alternatively take the cast out. Yeah, this is fine. We're taking the Lyra. I want to put something that he, that he has to deal with. Come on. Okay. He's just got nothing. And scoop. Scoop. Scoop it. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. Um doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, represent a push. It doesn't. He doesn't have creatures. Yes, auto target. Thank you. And we win. It's okay, Chris. The deck has a lot of sequencing complexity. I agree, but it's that's what makes it a fun deck. Is because if you do something out of order, it definitely punishes you, and it can cost you games really quickly because every point's gonna matter. Um, this is fine. I don't care. This game is going to get out of hand extremely quickly, so he's got no cards in hand. Um, I can't bring those back right now. So he can't, um, he can't seal away me. I don't think anything else. Uh, I could get the Chef at Dune. That doesn't matter. Uh, let's just Karn. Gideon or Swamp? Give me a Swamp. Probably should just make a, uh, a whatchamacallit there, a Construct. Because I'm going to get two Scrap Heaps back on his end set. Yeah, I should have made a Construct. And then kill him the next turn. I still can. Sure. Four. Yeah, that's plenty. Oh, I played a land. My bad. Keep this one, make a dude, combat. Oof, can you guys hear me? I'm hungry. Just so you get, you see I got your, uh, your Twitch in there, buddy? I got mine, I got Josh's, and I got yours. By the way, today's stream is brought to you by Mom's Basement Games. You can see the information scrolling along the bottom of the screen, or the, yeah, the screen there. Go to them, they're, they're real good. Nezahal, you have no cards in hand. I have a cast out. Okay. But yeah, check out uh, Mom's Basement Games. They got great prices on all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I have to have too many things okay so attack attack I also need to make sure that I'm not I need to stop passing five I panicked okay okay so from here cast this Josiah says I have lethal no I'm a little short I think Yep. 
Yeah, it's fine. Draw your card. Cast out. Cast that out. Get it out of here. Goodbye. Um, now we bring back Scrap Heap. Can we get both of them back? Probably need to pay one more. Uh, get rid of the Night of Malice. Watch, he's going to have a Fumigate. Um, undo. So it's all before damage because it pumps the Construct as a static ability. Um, from here we can have sex. No, we can't have sex because we need a Karn. Uh. <laughs> Son of a... Alright, opponent, you got to look at one extra draw because you were going to get that, that, that one card off of the Nezahal no matter what. Cool. Let's sideboard. Okay. Could have been a little smoother about that. Oh, geez. Yeah, those are all. So, we want the Sorcerer's Spyglasses. We want the Duresses. We want the Fragmentize. We want the Doomfall. No, I think we want, we want the Angel of Sanctions. I don't know. We gotta start looking at things we can take out. So Lyra's good, but she's not great. We can lose a Walking Ballista. Uh, Knight's great. Heart's good. Scrap Heap's great. Uh, Toolcraft not on the draw. Just I feel free to correct me, but I don't know that I'm gonna catch it before I I submit. Binding cast out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Um, one Gideon, two Gideon, because I want the Doomfall according to Josiah. So it's his deck. I will trust in him. Oh, I don't need these pushes, right? There's literally nothing that these do. I don't want Fragmentize. Do I just have better stuff for the Sealaways? Bring in Angel of Sanctions instead. Hmm. You sure I don't want the Fragmentize? Only Splash his wife for Teferi. I didn't even know Jeskai was a thing in Standard. So if I could bring something else back in here. A, a Gideon. Bring the Walking Ballista instead. And a Gideon. So now I'm up one. I need to cut one more thing, Josiah. Running out of time. Scale up, please. Okay. This is what Josiah said to do. This is what we're doing. This is an easy mulligan. As long as I don't misclick. This looks pretty awesome. I'm down. Let's do it. Scry. Don't need that one. Yeah, don't need that one. Okay. Planes go. Follow up with an isolated chapel. Go into... The Scrap Heap Scrounger, let him remove that or counter it with an Essence Scatter, and then we'll Knight the next turn. Yeah. Ooh, he did have that Negate. Sanctions is bad against Gearhulk. Okay. The deck is low on permanence. Okay, so we don't need to worry about the Teferi right here, but we can gain information, but... This just seems like a win-win. Because the only other thing that's going to punish us for playing this is Magma Spray. Which I assume he has some number of. I think we saw one in game one. Okay. He's going to punish us in combat. 
Um, we gotta play the chapel. Dress first. Let's go. Would you like to show me your hand or use a removal spell? Okay, so. First of all, I'm gonna forget this. So we want to copy that up real quick. And here you guys get to see my desktop for a moment. Okay. So he's got an essence scatter, harness lightning, harness lightning, nezzle hall, um, and an aether hub. I guess I can just play the scatter because it's not gonna matter. Nope, that's wrong. That was wrong. I did, as soon as I clicked it, I was trying to undo it. I wanted to take the harness light. Mm. I wanted to take the harness lightning uh, because he has to keep up the mana on my turn, and if he taps out for something, he like top decks to fairy or somewhere, and he's just like, I gotta slam this. Then I can get around the essence scatter. I can source for spyglass the Nezahol. That could be a problem. Yeah, Nezahol is definitely a problem. He starts drawing him cards though. Um, so we know, let's see here. No, we'll do, we'll do like so. So we know this and he played the hub. Play the scavenger ground, play the history and go to combat. Because that will make this a little bit bigger. He'll have to kill both things right away, and then we'll start having knights. Sure. Normally, I wouldn't play this before combat, but what? So you want to shoot this now? Ooh. Okay. That was a good draw. So opponent should be at 17, because we forgot to swing with this. See if it costs us. You got it, dude. What do you want to pay? There you go. All right. So now he's got Nezzle Hall, Sulfur Falls, and one more Harness Lightning, which he'll use on this. We'll get it back. Hopefully he doesn't get a... Uh, a gear hawk anytime soon. There's the sulfur falls. Another scrap heap is great. Doesn't have an essence scatter. I want to scrap heap, leave up, get scrap heap back. So we're gonna go to combat. Let him shoot this guy. He, yeah, you can wait till blocks. Really, okay, um, sure. All right, so I haven't done this right all night, but on his turn, I need to bring back the Scrap Heap Scrounger that ends up dying, which he didn't cast. What? Why? What's happening here? Did they reprint Detention Sphere? What's going on? Maybe he clicked through. I mean, it is late. It's currently like 1240 at night. To f oh, yeah. Okay, so he's going to untap. He's going to have two. So Teferi takes. Okay, this is great for us. Because we know his hand is these two cards currently. He's going to draw one. He's only going to be able to kill one Scrappy Scrounger. And we're just going to cast the Teferi out. Oh yeah, sorry. There you go. 
Man, how have I used so much time? Okay. We're not going to miss it. He didn't he didn't kill it. What am I thinking? What's going on? I am almost out of drink. Upkeep drop. You gonna shoot this? Shoot this guy. Yeah. A braid. So he still has the harness lightning, just can't cast it right now. Another cast out it makes it even easier. Yes, take the fairy, get it out of here. Attack. So the only other thing I think I gotta... Is he gonna have... Um, Josiah, is this guy gonna have Settle the Wreckage? He seems like very much red-blue. So no Settles. Don't have to worry about Settle. Okay. Save the cast out for Nezahal, just named to fairy with Spyglass. Mm, I kind of want to do it the other way around. The sweltering suns, yeah. Um, there you go. Okay, he's got two cards in hand. We know what both of them are. Here's this. That's fine. The other one is a Nezahal. Let's get this. And he's seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. What do you think about playing the Sorcerer Spyglass on Nezahal, naming Nezahal, and then taking care of him with this? I know it's, it's really bad and... Oh, shoot! Ah, float mana. Um, we need more, we need more white right now, I think. Can't get the Nezahal, so we're not going to cast this. Yeah, you're right, Josiah, he's not going to have enough cards in his hand when he casts it. Uh, but he didn't play it last turn, I feel like he's just going to wait till he has enough. But I, he's going to be so far behind there. I could play the Spyglass. I should have got a Swamp. Damn it. Um, I can play the Spyglass game to Fairy now. Sure. Hero of Dominaria. All right, still haven't done this right. Well, no, we did it once now. Okay, here comes the Nezahal. Josiah, you are a genius. So now I just gotta do like so. Get the knight. Okay. Want to make sure that we don't cast anything else. Just this. Dang it, I keep forgetting I have to pass priority on that. Arena has broken me. Cause it just it just makes your choices for you. Back up to three cards. Plays the land. Down to two. Uh, kill the scrap heap scrounger. No. Whirler Virtuoso. So. Okay. You have five energy. We're just going to dress and play the history of Benalia. Land? 
Karn. Land Karn. What do you want? What do you want? Deck. So, yeah, that's fine. We don't have to play the Duress now. Speaking of which... I miss Royal of Virtuoso, man. I miss uh, the Teamer Standard deck. Those are grindy matches, but like you, you had to play. You had to play tight. It's kind of like this. Like this deck, I feel like you, you, you need to play tight. If your sequencing's off, it's just gonna, it's just gonna be a nightmare. All right, these dresses are still doing nothing. Take one. It's gonna pick us away. That is a great draw. So I can get back a scrap heap. Play this ballista, kill this guy, threaten to kill the other one, uh, and then get both scrap heaps back on the following turn. So, sounds great. Ballista first. Good thing I left these in. Thanks, Josiah. So, combat. That? Why? Why? Okay, we're threatening this. I blanked for a second. I'm like, why did I attack with this? So, create a dude. That's fine. We're going to shoot your dude. Now, would you like to block with your Whirler Virtuoso? Because I'll let you have a Thopter. You can keep the Thopter. Yes. Pass turn. So, we need a untapped Black Source because I screwed up with the Field Rune. I should have got a Swamp. It's a pretty good game. So he drew a Essence Scatter, which this will get right around. We're going to let him have it. We're going to let him have it. Oh, and that's a waste of my turn. Could be in the gate here. Oh. Okay. Maybe he misclicked? Why not cast that? He didn't have energy. No, he had... Did the glacial... No, he had the glacial fortress and everything. So, Gear Hulk. So, do, 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 do. we can activate this, but we can't activate it and get a scrap heap, so let's play this first. Can, let's, I don't care about whatever card he's got. Yeah, I don't care. Get a scrap heap back, exiling the walking ballista. Crew the heart of Kieran. Combat, you can eat the knight if you so wish. Disallow the crew ability? You got it, my dude. I think this is going pretty well. I don't know I don't know how he comes back from this. He needs a sweltering sons. But I still just beat him for four. Heart of Kieran's really good. Heart of Kieran plus this stupid card. Chapel's good. Don't need to use it right now. So. Oh, there's not another creature. Hmm. 
dress you. What is going on here? At least draw a card, dude. I kind of feel bad now. I don't know if he's like misclicking or what. I am so tired. Thank you, Josiah. I have Sorcerer Spyglass naming Teferi. He can't even cast it. I forgot about that. No, he, can't, he can cast it, he just can't activate it, right? Yeah, he just can't activate it. Thank you, Josiah. Man. Card is good. I'm still almost out of time. I didn't play this Isolated Chapel. Well, I should have, because I could have used the black, potentially. Sweltering Suns. Yeah, he's, he's dead. What are you casting? Sweltering Sun. You're still dead. Yep, that's fine. Okay. So, untap. GG. Thank you, thank you. Whoa. That was weird. Uh, Josiah, which one of these do I need to go into if I'm... I guess, is it this one? Uh, what do I need to go to if I'm going to get, like, play points? Also, i got to make sure I have play points. It has been a long, long moment. Okay. So I have new player points. I don't know that I can use those for the same thing or if they're like Phantom League stuff. Sure. Josiah, deck seems great, man. I know I'm playing it poorly, but deck seems great. You're going to need seven more event tickets or 120 play points to play a league. Is that all there is now? Is it's, it's just it's just leagues. There's not. Uh, I'm gonna be old man for a second, but back in my day, you could queue up for a single one-on-one -on -one match, and if you won, you got like a pack. You could sell the pack for like two to three tickets. Thanks, dude. So, while we're waiting, I don't know if this is actually going to even pop up. But, um, again, uh, tonight's stream is just kind of an impromptu thing. I don't normally do this. Um, I'm going to start doing it with Josh Warren, the owner and um, main floor trader of Mom's Basement Games. You can see all their information scrolling by at the bottom of the screen there. Um, you can tweet at him. Mom's Basement Games, or Mom's Basement MTG. And uh, you can check us out on YouTube. I think it's just Mom's Basement Games on YouTube. Um, you can find me also at Pando Streams for Pandemonium Games and Hobbies. You can find our YouTube page, um, which is Pandemonium Games. We got our sweet potion bottle uh, as the symbol. We have pretty much, I think, all of the, the matches from yesterday's PPTQ. I guess it was Saturday's PPTQ now, so two days. Uh, and we're playing Josiah Valley's deck. Uh, he won the whole thing. Yeah, I don't know if I want to wait in this. Maybe I just go back into the other one. Um, yeah, let's go back into tournament practice. Go to constructed tournaments. I am in constructed tournaments and hit cues. We're there. Oh, okay. Well, it let me play. It let me play. Um, or did it? 
two event tickets. To enter this event, select the option below. Two event tickets. Submit the deck. Okay, so the new player... No, we had five tickets. That's right. Okay. Thanks, Josiah. Let's, uh... Let's really get challenging here. Mm. This is fine. It's a little bit on the edge, but it's fine. Playing blue, probably Teferi. So we want the courtyard and toolcraft and pass. But yeah, check out the Mom's Basement Games uh, TCG Player Pro, the, the, the link there down in... What is that called? My ticker at the bottom of the screen there. They got all kinds of cool stuff. Weird stuff sometimes. Just like German foils from nowhere. Okay. But anyways. Uh, PPTQ is great. Saw a lot of good magic. Had very few errors, which I love. Um, we had a we had some very minor deck list errors. Okay, so what is this? What's gonna have? What's gonna have? It's not gonna matter because we're just gonna attack India. I'll play like a ballista for one here. Uh, we don't want to play the isolated chapel. We want to play a swamp here. Uh, nothing else is great, so we swing for one. But battle bond, we had battle bond to uh, what is technically yesterday now, and. It was awesome. It was a lot of fun. I only expected like five teams because of how poor Wizards has put information out about it. How the marketing has just kind of been a mess. What? Okay. What is playing Merfolk Trickster? to eat my toolcraft exemplar you monster but battle bond there i had what was it 20 28 teams i had 28 two-player teams for what is an awesome format in all honesty it was a lot of fun but i didn't expect so many people and i was running it by myself and uh once you get to prizing that it gets a little bit messy uh, because I was trying to do registration at the same time. And also, I had so many people that I, I didn't expect um, to have to, like, prize out that much. So I was allowing people to, like, defer their packs till Friday when the set comes out. Uh, and I'm giving them extra packs kind of thing. But I wanted to make sure I was going to have enough product to, to run the later event. I was running two events uh, that day. One at noon and one at 5.30. Um, okay, here. Counter my good cards. Feel the rune? Can I? No, take a bait. Yeah, you got it, dude. Nose like seven or something. I want to learn this. Nose four. But there were so many people for Battle Bond. It was, it was nuts. It was it was great. It was so much fun. Uh, everyone seemed to really enjoy the set and have a lot of fun with it. Are we just a mono blue? Is he just oh, so far behind he can't feel the ruin? Oh, uh, Josiah, help! Help! It's some kind of instant, infinite wizard deck or something. Okay. This is a good draw. Anybody know what I'm playing against right now? Oh, I need to set that to always yield. That's going to get annoying. Um, so Josiah says that this is the MTG Goldfish uh, Brew. It plays Panoramaticon on the wizard that doubles triggers, so three times triggers. Oh boy. 
So let's see if we can find that. We are drawing not so great. Um, Power Stone combo? Let's look. Play Shove It Down. Let's do this. Da -da 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 -da. Let's play this and just attack. Always yield. Yeah, you should be able to, to post the link, Josiah. Which, by the way, for anybody that's just getting in... Nope, I can't copy-paste it again. Darn it. There we go. It deleted... Oh, it, it's auto-deleting it? Yeah, sorry, I set that up. Um, Let's see. It's not this. So, when it enters the battlefield, return to our creature and opponent controls to the owner's hand. So we're gonna shoot this and get our toolcraft, probably. Thanks, Josiah. Send me a, a tweet or, or message on Facebook. I still have it open. Because I have no idea what's going on. Okay, you're gonna bounce this. And you're going to bounce that. That makes sense. And then I want this back in my hand, so I'm not going to use the last counter. Karn. Karn. Okay, Jose, I got the link. I will look at this in a moment. I got I got it. Thanks, dude. Send it to me on everything. Appreciate it. So just run this stuff back out. One, two. Uh one, two, three, four. Oh, that was sloppy. But now we have a push, so that's fine. Mm-hmm. Mm. on gotta turn my music back on too it was light i don't even know if you guys could hear it but it's nice to have in the background okay let's look at this deck uh close this one open this one against the odds nabanonicon oh i did see a moment of this i didn't watch this one when it went up though so he doesn't have flash but he doubles all that silver gill champion tap all the things Copy, syncopate, exile two target creatures, control them. Okay. I think we can we can get by this. Cool looking deck though. Seems fun. Uh yeah, you can have that. What would you like to show me a card and draw two cards? Enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Well, that's frustrating, but that's fine. Let me cast this. Just be arena. Just be slightly better. So you tap both of our creatures. We're not going to be able to do anything with them. That's fine. I guess I could have... No, because this is 3 CMC. I was going to say I could have uh, shot the silver gill. Um, I don't want to always yield. I hit six, come on. I don't want to always yield to this, just in case another one comes out of nowhere. Uh, 
Um, we're taking the Panharmonicon. But when? Probably now. He can't deal with it now. Because... How does this one work? Target creatures? Yeah, I don't think he can deal with this. So... Too bad I can't bump the Ballista here, though. We would like to get rid of this. Thank you very much. You have two more, sir. So, in case anybody else would like to watch or see this deck, because I'm just flipping into it really quickly. Um, I can link it. Josiah is unable to, but I can link it. Surprised there's even people awake at this hour. I really am. I, I only did this to put it up on YouTube later, just to relax too, because, like I said, it was a little bit of a cluster trying to prize everybody and uh, get two out of giant people signed in all at once. Uh, if you've ever done any TOing, any scorekeeping, uh, using were two out of giant is one of the weirder more complicated things to do like it's straightforward but were lags every time you try to like enroll people so doing it over and over and over again is just a pain in the butt this thing costs a lot i will kill it next turn attack into that um yeah well mm, what are you gonna bounce because i'm gonna get to revolt this no this thing's too big but i can revolt this so you're gonna bounce that that's a good call so you bounce this i sh fatal push the weaver pump the ballista recast the toolcraft kill this guy later on okay I still know how Fatal Push works. I surprise even myself. Anstack is really slowing me down, though. Karn would have been fantastic. These are fine. This card was super underrated when it first came out. I even thought it was kind of garbage. Um, we attack here because even if he plays a trickster I don't man no if he plays a trickster that's actually pretty bad because this loses its abilities but it's a 3-3 three, three, so he blocks with this and trades yeah I can't attack here Five is to stop passing, right? Yes, okay. Hold to keep priority. Storm. I don't know when you want to do that. At least on Moto. Moto's great because you just have such wonderful control over most of your actions and your in the flow of the turn. Uh, Arena Arena's great because it makes like the very obvious choices for you very quickly and it realizes your opponent's tapped out so they don't have a way to respond. So it just does everything super fast. But it's also really frustrating because it's hard to tell where you're at in the turn sometimes. And controlling the turn it can also be a little bit of a nightmare. Panharmonicon. Good for you. One to go. Nope, 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 nope. That's what we want. Trickster is blue-blue, so he just doesn't have it. He's representing at least that he doesn't have it. Junto Berry says, It's cool to hear your thought processes. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, I think that's what makes like Magic Online or anything like that um, really interesting. Well, this is not a great draw. We don't need to do this early. Okay. Yeah, that's what makes it uh, interesting to stream this kind of stuff, is when you actually talk it through. Um, I really like watching Reed Duke 
when he produces videos, but because, because he, he's such a great player. Like, no one can deny that Reed Duke is a fantastic Magic player. Um, and when he, when he gives his train of thought, it's fantastic. But after he does that, he always tanks for a while. And whether it's 10 to 20 seconds or whatever, it's, it's fine. But, uh, make sure I do this right. It's fine, but he, he just leaves all this dead air and it, it kind of ruins his videos. Reed Duke is wonderful to listen to because he's a fantastic player, but he's also really great to listen to if you just want to, you know, take a nap or something. Uh, Reed Duke is the magic equivalent of watching, um, I don't know, the what am I doing? Why is this guy not dead? Die. Let's go to the next game. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, dude, I'm not slow rolling you. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, but he's the equivalent of, like, the... Uh, what's the, the, the golf pro tour? Or or just, like, a, an early season um, baseball game on TV. He's, he's, he's great to watch. It's entertaining, but, like, eh, you know, take a nap to it. So, dress seems bad. He's got a lot of creatures. Angel of Sanction seems good. Fumigate seems good. Sorcerer Spyglass seems bad. There's not activated things. Fragmentized seems okay. Josiah is going to yell at me and tell me to take the, fra the Fragmentizes back out. Liar seems good because we're on the play. Uh, pushes are great. Heart's great. Uh, Knight of Malice is fine. Scrap heaps are not so great here. I'll just cut three for the moment. Try to figure out what I want. Gideons are good. Karn's fine. Walking blisters are great. The rest of this seems really good. I don't know about the fragmentized though. I think I'm gonna cut some toolcraft exemplars. Cause I just want to go a little bit later here and wipe the board and then just like get into it with uh with card advantage and one big beater that he like he just has to deal with. Trickster's really good against it, but I think this works. Yeah, cool, Junto Bell. He says, uh, he says that he's not in, uh, educated about this kind of stuff at all, but uh, I actually make it interesting, and it's a chill vibe. That's exactly what I'm going for. I I love to educate. Um, I'm, a, I'm a level one magic judge, so like, it, it's just kind of built into me to like really explain the mechanics of things. And the chill vibe is like, I am literally just trying to relax after kind of a stressful day. So, this looks fine. I don't have a way to get the heart online. But we have everything else that we want, so let's do it. Yeah, this, this seems good. Like, no matter what we draw here, we draw a land. We draw a couple lands, that's fine. We can Angel of Sanctions, we get back into a game. We draw a creature, that's fantastic. It'll be good for the heart. I probably should have cut a heart... And kept maybe a toolcraft. Um, we want to represent something, so we'll just play the planes. Thanks, Junto. That's cool, dude. Appreciate it. Um, we're going to do this. I don't normally do this stuff at night. Um, what we do usually do on this channel is Wednesdays around noon, 1 o'clock, we, uh, we do more... MTG, but I'm going to have my buddy Josh Warren. He's the head of Mom's Basement Games. He's got a wonderful, ooh, another heart. So we can counter this one. You got it. Please counter our heart of Kieran that is doing absolutely nothing for us. Negate. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Syncopate's also fine. All right. Um... But Wednesdays around noon, one o'clock. I think we're saying one o'clock is our go time. We're gonna stream. We're gonna do competitive leagues. We're gonna do standard, modern, a little bit of legacy. Um, Josh really likes aggressive decks. I really like mid rangey combo decks as well. Um, so we're gonna be able to bounce off each other really well, and we're we're fairly funny and crude when we're when we're together. So check that out. We put it up on YouTube as well. But then later on Wednesdays. Uh, we do our show called Magic After Dark. 
and we, that goes on about midnight, 1 a.m. So we do a lot, a lot on, uh, a lot on Wednesdays. Um, here's another heart. Hold up the push. So let's not tap wrong. Let's keep a black source open. Uh, but Magic After Dark is we just go over like news and stuff like that, like you've seen on Split Second for Channel Fireball. No, not sorry. I'm sorry. Not Channel Fireball. Uh, Split Second is uh, Star City Games, and it's fantastic. It's a really, really good show. Um, it's quick. It's easy. Ours is longer. Ours is kind of like podcast style, but we, we display all kinds of like stuff. Like We talk about decks, Magic Finance. Um, one of, uh, we have a segment called Judge's Corner where I go over some kind of nuance of the game. Uh, last week we talked about uh, slow play, like how it's a stigma in the community and how we can overcome it, and you should. Slow play exists. People don't always realize that they're, that they're doing it when they are doing it. It's stalling. It's a form of cheating. But, uh, you know, sometimes you got to be in the tank, and you're in the tank for a while. You shouldn't feel bad about calling your opponent on that and saying, hey, I need you to make a play, my dude. Uh, Panharmonicon, you're going to have a big turn next turn, huh? We are not doing that much. It's okay, though. Uh, okay, come on, Karn. Off the top. No. <laughs> That's fine, that's fine. Oh well. We'll push whatever he plays, I guess. And then play an Angel of Sanctions. Take the Panharmonicon. That, yeah, that seems like a, a good turn. So I want to make sure I didn't actually like F6 here. Uh, stop passing is 5. So we'll 5. Plays a creature. We can not successfully push that. <laughs> this is going to be sweet. So, Panoramonica is going to give him two ETBs here. He's going to... Um, I don't want to yield to these, but that's fine. He's going to draw cards equal to its power. So, he's going to draw two cards. Discard two cards. Because you always have to discard two cards. So, he's draw two. Discard two. Then draw two more. Discard two more. He discarded a Champion of Wits and the Weaver, which taps us. Yeah, so Josiah, your favorite card this weekend, you just you kept talking about it, was Angel of Sanctions. And I think you're right, man. I think it's underrated right now. It's really, really good. Because it just, <laughs> it just kind of tempos a lot of stuff. And it's a flying beater that doesn't die to most, um, like, damage-based removal. And I got to turn my music back on. Okay, here's the guy. If a wizard entering the battlefield under your control causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. If a wizard entering. This is a wizard. Oh boy. How much does it cost to re eternalize? Seven? Oh boy. He's almost online here. Oh wait, 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 wait. He is not online here. <laughs> that was almost really bad. Thanks, Josiah. Caught it out the corner of my eye. Saying to push them. Uh, yeah, so... I'll still hold this up. Play the Angel, take the Panharmonicon, and hit him with this Heart of Kieran that's just been chilling. You know, maybe that's something we should do, too. I don't have much time to, like, dive into the lore, but we could add a lore segment to um, Magic After Dark, Josh and I. He likes listening to stories like that. But he hates listening to me uh, talk, so. <laughs> Alright, crew this bad boy. I would like to tap you. Yes. Thank you. Attack. Advantage bar swings our way one time. Okay. Um, but I think our favorite segment on the Magic After Dark show on Wednesday nights is... Uh, Local yokels is what they want to call it. Uh, it is where we go over the local magic events that are happening in uh, Michigan or around maybe even Southeast, Mich uh, Southeast Michigan. Uh, which, by the way, that's where we are. We are in uh, Garden City, Michigan. Um, we, we basically work out of Pandemonium Games, which is one of the largest game hobby shops, uh, we like to say, east of the Mississippi. I don't know if that's completely true, but like we are a very, very large store. We have one of the largest tournament areas. Uh, around. Okay. Stop this. That is that is a pain in the butt. 
Stop drawing so well. Oh man, I wanted another creature. Um, mm-hmm. I think we're just gonna Deadlands kill this. No, we're not. We're gonna Deadlands. I can only do this at Sorcerer Speed. Yes, we are. Okay. So this hits harder. He's not representing anything with one blue, at least nothing that I can think about. So we're gonna swing with the heart. And in our main phase two, which I hope I don't mess up, we're gonna kill this off with the Deadlands. Ah, ah! Well, that's the thing. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, Josiah says don't kill the champion. He says just leave it. You don't want to give him a second one, right? At least another one to eternalize. I guess, I mean, we're really winning the race. I just, I'm feeling a little flooded. Oh, but you know what? You're right, Josiah. Because I can start doing this instead. And I just, I think I take him off of seeing one more of his draw steps. So let's see here. So one damage, five, ten. I need to draw a creature. And I stop him from seeing one draw step. Anytime you can, you can like, kill your opponent or, or, or get them in a position where like they're down that extra card, it, it's really important. I mean, they're on the play here. I was on the draw, so I'm already up one card, but he's had this champion of wits go crazy. Um, yeah, that's fine. What are you going to play? You've been holding something. Um, so he's seen a few more cards than me, but like, if you can, if you can like finish him earlier, it's obviously better. What? Just, uh, what's going on here? Did I see the guy punt the PT finals today? I did not see it, Josiah. I saw the the win. I didn't see a punt. Um, I know it was like red versus red black, I think is what it was. So do I want to... Oh, I really want this guy to die. Okay, so we don't mess this up. We're going to kill this guy first. Sacrifice a desert. So we're going to... Target this. We're gonna float, color this here, go black. I tap too much. Hold on. Okay. So now we go black, black. Nope, that was right. Never mind. Sacrifice the desert. And yes. That prevents a block. He forgot about the sack ability on Pia Nolara. Oh, yeah. Pia is a house, man. Um, I'm going to try and bring her up in a second here. Uh, let me go to combat. No, don't let me go to combat. Stop me here. Stop me here. <laughs> oh, my God. I got it. Oh, my God. I got it. Oh, God damn it. Oh, man. It's late. <laughs> Shit, that was close. Okay, let's attack. We're gonna leave. We're gonna leave that stop on the, the my beginning combat just in case I make that mistake somewhere else. That was clutch, man. <laughs> All right, so man, I need to draw a scrappy scrounger. There's only one. Alternatively. What is this? Exile up to two target creatures. He's just targeting the one uh, that he controls. That makes sense. And then return it. So he's going to draw some more cards. Um, so give yourself one more shot, dude. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this time I'm going to yield to these. Just because there's really nothing I can do. And I, I'm, I'm representing a push, but I'm, I'm not going to get to use it. Uh, view sideboard. There's one scrounger left in the, the main board. Um, that's a good point too, Josiah. Having the, the stop there in case uh, I have a tool craft that I need to create.
Screw the heart. Uh, I am we totted. So fucking we totted. Junto Berry, you're also fairly funny. I'll give you that, dude. Um, does this win? Yes. Gideon, zero. Make him a 4-4. Four, four. Crew heart with the Gideon. Attack. And do I have enough mana to make this work? Because I need to be able to sacrifice the Chef of Dunes. I don't have enough, do I? Okay, so I need... Five. One, two, three, four, five... I am one short. So he's going to get to see that turn. Just think about this for a second. One, two, three, four. This is the fifth. Yep, we're one short. I wonder if I missed a line drop anywhere. Um, So he could start bouncing stuff and whatnot, but I don't think, I still think we win. Just not this turn. We're not going to show him the Chef of Dunes either. We are going to hit him for seven, though. Tricks. Okay, so he goes Trickster. This loses flying. This loses flying. Blocks here. Gets a second Pan Harmonicon back. Four, five, six, draws a land, plays it, get a champion of wits, draws a ton of cards. Man, this is actually a sticky spot, but I don't think I can, I don't think I can not go for it. I think I have to still go for it. Let's, I don't think he combo kills me either. How does this deck kill me? This is a cool deck, but how does how does it just it doesn't win? He could have a negate. No, he would have I don't know. Okay. Let's go with the play. Let's walk into a trickster. Because we'll still hmm. I could have plussed. I could have plussed. Could have plussed and I, I forget that it has this ability. I could have plus, and then I could have taken a loyalty counter off. I forget that Heart of Karen can do that. That's what kind of makes it so busted in the fact that it has Vigilance. Okay, attack with both. Hopefully he doesn't have Trickster. Okay. Um, all you do. Trickster. No. Wow. I actually wanted him to do it, because that would have been a really cool turn. He would have played the Trickster, which I don't know if I can show you one right now. Sure I can. Plays the Trickster, enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. It loses all abilities until end of turn. So I attacked. So he Tricksters, he gets a Panoramonic trigger, so he turns both my creatures into just baseline flyers and then is able to block and eat them no you can't eat them because it doesn't do the um it doesn't make them zero zeros um yeah that's fine you get to draw a bunch of cards can't do anything about that yield okay wow there we go so that's the first one in just straight up constructed and we got 30 play points we used two tickets i have no idea if play points are really worth doing anything for i need 120 right josiah for a league whatever let's let's do one more because i got the tickets for it i got we can do one more I think these are nothing because they're just for like Phantom League stuff. We'll get maybe we'll get sixty play points. 
And maybe we can end up using play points on uh, one of the leagues. Probably not the Wednesday one, because we'll just we'll just buy some tickets for it. Uh, once again, this is the deck we are currently playing. It's Josiah Valley's winning PBTQ deck from this past weekend. Congratulations, Josiah. Thank you for joining me in the chat, dude. Uh, I'm so excited for you to be going to the RPTQ uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. I know that's not like the coolest place, but Hotlanta is okay. Um, the the GP, or not the GP, but the, the Pro Tour is going to be for uh, Guilds of Ravnica. Get to go back to Ravnica, dude. So that's going to be awesome. Um, congratulations. Make sure you get a, a Pro Tour hoodie. I know they're expensive, but they look sweet, usually. Um, what else do I want to tell you about that, dude? Um, make sure that you plan ahead for where you're going to eat, because in Atlanta, Georgia, everything closes so early. Everything closes at like 10, 30, 11 o'clock on the weekends, and you don't get out of those events until almost 9 or, or, or past that, so you can't you can't dawdle. you got to know where you're going, otherwise you're not going to get there in time, and you're not going to be able to eat. you got to go to... You can go to a few of the bars down there that are really good, though. Um, so yeah, that's okay. But like, if you want to do something special, and you should, you uh, you want to make sure you have it planned out ahead of time. Um, let's see, what does Josiah say? He says, uh, you can use play points on queues. Um, on these queues? I wonder how much it is. I have to win the RPTQ before I get to go to the Pro Tour. That's true, you're right, Josiah. You do have to win an RPTQ before you go to the Pro Tour. Um... Maybe it'll be another team RBTQ. Maybe this one will be modern. <laughs> it's generally not how it works. It's usually the PPTQ season that feeds into RBTQs is of the same format. So it'll, this past one was, or actually this upcoming one, because it's this weekend and then either next week or the, or the weekend af, after, sorry, is uh, is standard and it's team standard. I got a bunch of guys going to that. And I hear that it's like selling out across the nation, which is really disappointing because like play, places are capping at like 50 teams. So um, what is that? Uh, I can't do math. 150 players. I didn't, I've hosted Michigan's first and only ever RPTQ in Garden City, Michigan. I've, I've, I've done that here at Pandemonium. And they didn't pick us this that time. This yeah, I guess this time around, um, we can easily seat over three hundred people. We could we could easily do a hundred teams, no problem. So a little disappointing that. Anyways, here's Josiah's deck. It's got a, a lot of great synergy. It's got I think I think the Karns plus the Heart of Kieran are just fantastic because this just gets you back into those games that you've fallen a little bit behind and people are so scared of it they feel like they have to go for it and. Generally, they do. And you got a bunch of, like, chump blockers that immediately turn the corner really quickly. Sideboard is great. The only thing we changed from what he played on Saturday was that he played, um, instead of three Fume Gates, he played two and a Sky Sovereign. Not bad, not bad. Um, let's get one more, and then I'm going to call it a night, and I will see you around 1 o'clock on Wednesday with Josh Warren. 20 play points. Spend. We in it. We in it. By the way, Josiah, I don't know if you noticed, but I've named the deck Black White Josiah PPTQ. <laughs> um, yes. Every day, yes. Early aggressive creature. Removal great creature if i get any white permanent this thing is just nuts and then karn to top it off keep just nutty uh guys make sure you hit follow so that you get notifications for us so that it's easier for you to realize uh when we're going live and whatnot again normally it's wednesday nights uh is this tokens okay that's good we can play the courtyard Nothing else pass. That would be kind of interesting if this is tokens. Don't know how we're going to do against it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, but I haven't seen this deck in a little while. And I don't think it's good right now because red is everywhere. Blue, black with renegade map. Okay, Josiah, what am I playing this time? God dang it. What the heck is going on? 
So first strike's not gonna matter here. I'm just gonna play the scrap heap scrounger so I can get aggressive with it and shoot with the walking ballista. This thing's gotta go. Let's go. Oh wait, 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 wait. No, 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 this is fine. So the reason I'm gonna go with this instead of playing the knight and then the history of Benalia, which would pump the knight, is because I wanna get this off the board Oh, see, Josiah says I play the the knight and then play the history. I want to do this because I want to attack. I want to see him block. I want him to gain one life, and then I want to use the walking bliss to get this off the board. Because I need to, I need to push in pressure, and I don't think if this is here, he's going to be able to deal with the history going forward. Um, this is fine. I can represent a push as well. Yeah, let's go with the game plan. I could also play the Walking Blissa now and see if he'll not block, but that could walk into, mm, I could get an Essence Scatter here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to it. I'm gonna stick to the plan. Could get pushed before I even do that, which would be great because then I can just go history in my second main. Here you go, dude. You didn't attack, so you definitely want to block, right? There you go, damage. Okay. So just like, oh, oh yeah, that's fine. That's fine, because I can get it back uh, the following turn. So Josiah w wants to go the other way with this. He wants to go knight and then history. I want to see if this pays off. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I know about this deck, but I don't know exactly what it does. Okay. I'll let you do your stuff. Created an Ethereum cell. Target creature minus plus X minus X ton of number X number of artifacts you control. Get an emblem. Karn. Or knight. Knight plus scrap heap, then history. Do I be aggressive or do I go long? Man, he gets this emblem quick. All right, we're trying to be aggressive here. He's just gonna have a ton of removal. Expect Frash's Contempt and stuff like that. I wanna try and get him to use the Rask's Contempt on one of the creatures so that the Karn can dig me back out of the hole that I'm gonna get into. Oh boy, so. He's gonna get to search twice, top five. What do you get to choose? Artifact card, do, 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 do. put it into your hand. Artifacts control become five, five. We need a cast out. This is a sweet match. This is gonna be wonky. Yeah. Dear Lord. Don't mess this up. Okay. Really? Minus two. One, two. I don't know what he got. You got the treasure map. What a beater. Dude, I'm just going for it. I think I'm going for it. Alternatively, I can do six to the Tesseract, put it to one. Yeah, I gotta do that. Darn it. 
No, 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 no. It's still gonna be six. It's any white permanent, right? Yes. We jamming. Josiah, I think you might want one more Lyra on the deck. Seems really powerful in a lot of spots so far. Uh, yes, begin combat. Congratulations, sir. You have gained six life. Pass turn. Three cards still in hand. I still haven't gotten a drink. Probably not end up gonna probably not gonna do that. Reveals Enters the battlefield or is put into the graveyard. Create a servo. Okay. How does he destroy this? Because I'm not going to. Problem with Lyra, says Josiah, is that it's bad versus blue white and red black decks. Play two to four unlicensed disintegrations. Yeah. Unlicensed is real good in that spot. You are correct, sir. So. Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I want the Karn or the History. I feel like I want the History now. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, alternatively four and two. Hi, Jace of Ravnica. Did you hear that we are going back to Ravnica? Congratulations. Uh, we're not doing a league right now, but record would be four, four or five zero oh, at the moment. We're just doing some, some learning games. I'm getting back into Moto. I haven't played in a long time. Let's see. History, Scrappy, da, 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 da. I think I want the history. So one, two, three. So this won't be... Now we can do it another turn. Okay. We're going to do Karn. We're going to plus Karn. Don't like when Moto gets tiny like this. Um, we don't need to see this right now. But we would like to see what cards are here. A heart and a fatal push. Both are good. Probably gonna give us the heart. And we're gonna play it over the scrap heat counter too. Because it's just more damage. So playing the heart. For next turn is more damage because we can then play the Scrap Heap Crew It because this will have Summoning Sickness and hit for four. Guaranteed in the air. Now we got to decide. He also tries to give us the heart there because he, at the time, we only had the one land out. So he's like, eh, he can't cast that, hopefully. I want to get, I got to figure out how I want to attack here. Yeah, we got heart, baby. So I want this to die. He's got two up, one in hand. He just... Oh, bur, 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 bur. He could have a push. I really want this to die. Because otherwise I'm going to lose the Lyra. I, I think I need to attack it with... Two creatures? And send the other one to his face? No, I could send it all at him then, don't I? This is not going to be a good attack. All right. This one's gonna go at him. He is, he blocks here, nope. Cause he can chump block and I don't know exactly what he can play. Cause he can't push this, but I'm not super familiar with the deck. So I don't wanna walk into something real stupid. I need to gain just enough life so that this doesn't kill me. As Johnny just pointed out in the chat. Oh, he said don't attack with the Lyra? Um, don't I live? Because I'm still going to have the heart. I don't think I'm dead. 
As long as I cast this. Oh, they're going to become treasures. I'm an idiot. I'm dead. He's going to he's going to get a bunch of treasures. see exactly how many okay he's only gonna get three treasures this flips so three but they'll have summoning sickness that's good no I, we're okay we're okay one two three potentially four five block one he gains a life All right, let's see if we punted. <gasps> Excuse me. You know what? I'm going to get a water. There we go. All right. How many, how many dudes you got? A lot of dudes. They only This only lasts for a turn, right? Until end of turn. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Yes, show me another card, please. Did he miss? He missed. Okay. And he didn't attack? Did he misclick? Okay. I, I'm terrified. I don't know exactly what happened. Uh, I got two turns. I can get a cast out. We're making a dude. Yeah, I don't know what happened, Josiah. I have no idea. I feel like it was just a miss. Oh, yep. Um, so you guys can't see it. Give me a second. Uh, where is it? I'll turn that off. He says punt AF. Hmm. Sucks. Been there. Done that. Okay. So we did this. We did that. We want to... I cast this. I wasn't dead though, I don't think. I didn't do the combat math because if he just swings out, I, I block with the heart and I don't know what else happens from there. Like like the game does the math for me, so whatever. Um, I don't think he can get me next turn, so now we need to make sure we don't screw up the tool craft. So this is gonna trigger we want that to resolve. I'm going to use him. Actually, this is a little bit of a mistake. It's just better to use the Scrap Heap Scrounger because it has some examples and it can't block. So if I need to for some reason, I can block the Toolcraft Exemplar to the Servo here should he attack put the stack over here um, and now we're gonna get really far ahead because we're gonna gain another five life too Emilio why are you awake Emilio it's almost two in the morning my dude you were so tired how was your trip to uh, Ann Arbor the other night I hope I attacked with everything. Oh, I'm just clicking things now. So, is he scrying? Okay, he's scrying. Yeah, that's fine, because you can crack these and draw cards later. Kind of need to start doing it this turn, though. Maybe I'm playing Josiah's deck from the PPTQ. The... 
the winning deck. Yep, you can have that. That's fine. Not that I could do anything about it anyways. Emilio slept from 7 to about 11 p.m. on accident, but it was a lot of fun. Oh, uh, the, uh, the Ann Arbor trip was a lot of fun. That's good to hear, dude. Gotta get out and relax now and then. This construct is going to be a 5-5 five five next turn. Get another knight. Opponent's in a really bad spot. You know, you're going to be able to sleep now. Let's, like, uh, I did this the other night. I I got out of here at a really early time for a PPTQ because we, we had 32 players. We had just missed the six-round Swiss. And, yep, draw cards, draw cards. And, um, damn, there's a lot of dudes. I don't know that I can attack next turn. Is it lethal? This has got to be lethal swinging next turn, right? He blocks a construct. Yeah, sideboard. Oh, just watched PPQ Top 8. That was really cool. The deck seems awesome. Cool, dude. Yeah, we got that on YouTube. If you go to Pando Games uh, searching on YouTube, you can find us there. You can subscribe, and you can uh, you can watch the PPDQ. And what am I doing? Yeah, that's right. Never mind. You can uh, you can watch Josiah crush people with his deck way better than I am. Josiah, I don't, I don't think I told you, but like you were so smooth playing this deck, dude. You, your little trolling of me and stuff like that. Like You were really confident you knew what you were doing. It was very impressive. So, dear lordy, lordy, lordy. Spyglass doesn't do anything except for Tezzeret. Fragmentize gets the enchantment, so we need that. Duress is amazing. We want all of those. Doomfalls, whatever. Angel Sanctions... Because this can get into the enchantment. Yep, not land permanent, but then it resets it. Hmm. Let's see what we can take out before we start going with that. The Exxon's Binding is great. Karn's great. Walking Ballista is mediocre. Take that out. Gideon is probably pretty good. I probably need both of them. Knight is okay. Toolcraft is good as well. Hmm. I think, I think the toolcraft's staying. I think the knights are coming out because we want to be beating with the hearts. He doesn't have any white. Hexproof's okay. Scrap heap. I can cut two of these. Can I cut anything else? And if I do, for what? This gets the Tezzeret, but so does most of this other stuff because I can fly over, make a decent sized board. I think we're I think we're pretty good here. Let's run this. Man, our opening hand from that last one was great. Mm, he chooses to play. That's fine. Let's look at this. This this looks great. I need another creature. A non if near deadland black source, which might be a little harder to come by. We'll see. You got it, dude. Renegade map is back. Sealed Courtyard, great draw. So, nothing on turn one. This is sorcery speed, but hits enchantments. Oh, dude. This card might not be good here. It might be it might be okay, but it's not going to be great. So, I thought that this was going to get their main enchantment, but their main enchantment, I think, is a five drop. The, uh, the blue history. Yeah, sorry, dude. Um, I think with Ravnica, Jace, if you're still there, buddy, are we going to get the Shocklands again? Or are we going to get something different? They're going to change it up. We're going to get the... Oh, that's not so great of a draw. Um, or are we going to get like Temple Scrylands? Yeah, you got it. Metallic Rebuke. Awesome freaking card. Yeah, I'm not paying. Get out of here. 
Get out of here, Moto. You're wasting my time. Okay. Another map. Mm, this is why I need another creature. Okay. Go ahead. So, he's only got one colored mana source right now. What is his hand? He could have he could have the enchantment here, which is not good for us. Oh no. Stop. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, brother. Yeah. You gonna make a construct? Or are you gonna draw cards? Reveal cards, let's go. You sir may have an island. I will give you some colored mana. Hmm. Let's cast out. Okay, so now we know that we should have brought in the spy glasses. I can slam mine. I can take his guaranteed. I would like to take his guaranteed. I will play for the longer con. Oh, I didn't even realize I could target the map. I thought I was going to auto-do it. So, we know about that. That is there. My turn. Heart of Curing. Pretty good. So... Play Karn, counters it, time walks us, play a Toolcraft Exemplar, probably doesn't counter it, play the Heart of Kirin, counters that. So lead with the Heart of Kirin, get it countered, play the Toolcraft. The sequencing isn't that much different. I'm trying to lead him into using the Counterspell on the Toolcraft Exemplar though. Let's play the Deadlands. And let's just play the Heart first in case he's got another Metallic Rebuke. Because then we can pay for it. And that was pretty quick. So now you can play your Metallic Rebuke, counter this. Nope. Okay. My turn. Or, well, your turn. Josiah, I have no idea what I'm doing. I got no clue. Okay. Oh, look, wait, look at this, look. CMC of four. What's this say? What's it, what was it? Uh, uh, four? Okay, okay. You got it. Oh, I thought this was a five drop for sure, man. That's so exciting. This is, this is, this is great. We got a push. Why did I not cut those? Because I can kill tokens with them later, I guess? Screw up his combat math? Seems good. So we want to... Excuse me. So we want to Karn first. Um, we can only get... If we want to take a, a card from Exile with a Silver Counter, we, can, we can't get his stuff because we don't own his stuff and it's specifically owned. So getting... What was it? This is out of the question and we don't want it anyways. But we want to Karn first... Leave up black and white, probably fragmentize this, and then attack for four mana, or four health with the heart after the Toolcraft Exemplar goes live. So Karn, look at a card. Could have walked into a counter spell, but eh. Gives us an isolated chapel. We can play that. So now we can hold up both. I don't think it's really going to matter. We don't. We definitely don't want to fragmentize before we attack. I would rather him push the heart of Kieran than counter the fragmentize. So we have the isolated chapel. Uh, beginning of combat. That's good. 
Attack for seven. Oh, he's right. You're a genius. You are a, you are a genius, Spirit of Dawn. I always forget that it has this freaking ability. Take a loyalty counter off of Karn. Crew of the Heart. Here's the push. That's exactly what we wanted. That is fine. Attack for three. Spirit. Oh. Well. Never mind. <laughs> Damn it. My punt count is like five. <laughs> but good, good line, Spirit of Dawn. I missed that one. Yeah, this is fine. Ixlon's Binding. Play another Teferi, buddy. Don't play a Karn. I don't want to... Your opponents can't cast. Okay, so yeah, you can play a Karn too. That's fine. Um, I want the Gideon. I want the Gideon. I don't want to play the Gideon yet. This is four mana. So five. Then we have one up. We have a push. We're not going to play the Gideon this turn. Could play the... Uh, maybe we will. Deadlands. Kill this. Attack for one. Oh, man. I really screwed the pooch on that. All right. This is not going to be great. It's not going to be a great turn. I don't think he got anything against the speed. We'll do this. We'll attack. And then we'll play the Gideon. See if it gets countered. We're not going to screw up the attack. Not going to screw up the attack. We're not going to screw up the attack. Achievement unlocked. It's so sad, man. That's so sad. Okay. Counterspell? That was also probably a bad move, yeah. Because if he had another Metallic Rebuke, we wouldn't have been able to pay for it. I don't know, it was risky. Maybe, yeah, maybe we play the Gideon first since we've seen this, but we're expecting, like, Negates as well. We're, we're a fairly sized creature deck, but we have a lot of non-creature stuff for him to hit. Okay. I was going to say he's choked on black mana still, but... Okay. This... Is exactly what I want to see. Let's do it, buddy. Let's go. You got it. Four mana. Make a thing. Congratulations. You have ramped. Draw a card. Oh, no! <laughs> I can't kill it either. I would love to be able to kill this right here. So that he doesn't gain the life, but... This deck is sweet. I think he needs some tweaking, but the deck is sweet. Um, Scrap Heap. Yep, I got it. I got gotcha. you. Okay, good draw. So, we want this to go under the binding. It's got no mana. So we want to hit four, seven. What do I want to do with this? I want to look at cards. I want to look at cards. I don't need to make a thing right now. Make a uh, construct. Excuse me, another card and a courtyard. It gives me the courtyard, play the courtyard. Um. Gideon, zero. Our sequencing on this turn doesn't matter. He's tapped out. We know exactly what we're doing. So as long as we don't misclick and not attack. Binding. Binding. Take this. Did I mess it up? Take this. Thank you. This is... I feel like this is basically a good game.
I guess I gotta wait to play that so that we don't have to waste time clicking through it. Oh, <laughs> son of a fucking. <laughs> yeah, so definitely play the Toolcraft Exemplar second main phase, pre -com or post-combat main phase, so that you don't misclick and forget to attack. Son of a... Sweet punt, bro. What do you do? Untap target, un mm. tap t X target, untap artifacts control. Look at the top X card of your library, put one of them into your hand or the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. You got it, man. Punt, 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 punt. Okay. Karn. Plus. Give me another history. Cast out's great. Liar's great. Probably give me the cast out? Yep, that's fine. Okay. Zero Gideon. Play of Plains. Play the history. There's no cards in hand, so that don't have to worry about anything weird. Don't mess up combat. We're gonna take the stop off here. And go into combat. Um, yield. Attack with everything. Okay. Blocks the Gideon, takes six. Did not block at all, he needs this guy. How much do I care about this guy? If near it, yeah, good call. Definitely should have blocked, man. Yeah. I don't know how he gets it back out of this. We're not even gonna get the Lyra. Like he needs, he needs a creature here. Remove a spell is fine, but he needs a creature that trades with at least a knight. Yeah, there it is. Winner, winner. Through all the punts, I did not deserve that, but hey, it was fun. It was definitely fun. Josiah, this deck is sick. This is a freaking awesome deck. It's no wonder that you won the PPTQ, man. This is really, really fun. Really cool deck. But, all right, I'm going to call it a night, guys. Uh, catch us on Wednesday at about 1 p.m. I'll have Josh Warren here. We're going to do some Moto. I think we're doing Modern. I don't know what deck yet, though. We're going to tweet it out, so follow us on Twitter. We're there, Pando, MTG, Chris, Mom's Basement Games, MTG, or in Mom's Basement, MTG, and Josiah Valley. Uh, is right there as well, Joe Valley. Uh, that is the creator and pilot of this deck. That's who I found it from, man. This is this was this is a really fun, really good deck. I like how the sequencing really matters, and it has a lot of intricate plays. I'm usually not a fan of uh, the Deadlands, but it came in really handy uh, in like three of my matches tonight. So really cool. We'll be back on Wednesday. If you don't catch our afternoon stream, you can catch our our late night stream. Um, which is about this same time, but I think we're going to get it at like 12, 30, 1 a.m., where we'll do uh, Magic After Dark. So thanks for watching, guys. It's been a lot of fun. Um, catch you next time.